It is very important to vote in this election. We are an important voting bloc. Our votes matter. We vote for our freedom. For our freedom. For our freedom. We vote for our freedom. We are the Divine Nine. And we are stronger together. Together. <laughs> together. 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 Go to BET.com slash vote. <laughs> I wonder who they're voting for. <laughs> We will double the civil rights division and direct law enforcement to counter this extremism. We will hold social media platforms accountable for the hate infiltrating their platforms because they have a responsibility to help fight against this threat to our democracy. And if you profit off of hate, if you act as a megaphone for misinformation or cyber warfare, if you don't police your platforms, we are going to hold you accountable as a community. But in the area of reparations for descendants of Africans and slaves. If you elected president, would you sign that bill if it came across your desk? When I am elected president, I will sign that bill. <laughs> Dream. That my four little children will one day live in a nation where they will not be judged by the color of their skin, but by the content of their character. I have a dream today. I'm not thinking about voters right now. I'm thinking about lives. And to be honest, it's uh, much bigger than anything else. But we're thinking about lives. A lot of lives lost. A lot of people missing. And uh, that's what I'd be focused on right now. I'm just curious. Okay, the last time I had beer was at a baseball game with Doug. So. Okay, so cheers. Okay, there, you cheers. Go. there you go. <laughs> Ooh. That yep. tastes like the beautiful city of Milwaukee, <laughs> the Wisconsin. The champagne of beers. There you go. <laughs> Millions are bracing for life-threatening impacts as the storm has re-intensified to a monster Category 5 with winds howling at 165 miles per hour. It's already the strongest hurricane this year so far and the strongest in the Gulf of Mexico since 2005. Hey, Barack Obama, as a black man, this must be sad, man. Fuck you. Fuck Kamala Harris and fuck the Democratic Party. We vote for Trump, bruh. This message is for Barack. Ain't never did a fuck ass thing for niggas in the eight years he was in the White House ever, Obama. Keep black men's name out your motherfucking mouth. Man, if you wanna sit your biscuit head ass down somewhere, goofy looking motherfucker, like slender man looking motherfucking ass, like anybody trying to listen to you, bro, you didn't get the memo? The community ain't fucking with you, dog. We ain't fucking with you. We ain't got two words for you. It, yes, we do. High and by. We are not fucking with you, B.O. So they sent Obama to come get us and bring us back to the Democratic plantation. <laughs> he like it. They sent Obama back to come get us. He insulted us. He said, y'all, he is so I was highly offended when he said the only reason we voting for Donald Trump is because um, we don't want a woman in president, so we come up with, oh, yo, nigga, shut up. Shut up. Democrats then unleashed Barack Obama into the wild to shame us black men for not supporting Kamala Harris, despite the fact that she's yet to unveil any policies that represent our interests. Why is it okay for Barack Obama, Kamala Harris, and all these other people that supposedly look like me, why is it okay for them to get on TV and shame me? for not voting for them simply because they look like me. That shit is racist, brother. Barack Hussein Obama. 
the audacity of you to say to us that we are required and we better vote for Kamala Harris and that we don't want to see a woman in a position of power. You're a liar. This message is for President Obama. First and foremost, you're not going to tell me what I'm going to do and what I'm not going to do. Number one, I ain't going to vote for Kamala Harris. I think that she's going to make a bad president. She's a bad vice president. Everything she does, she tries to politicize it. And she hasn't shown the fact that she wants to put America first ever. So I'm not voting for that individual. Secondly, I think that it's really sad that you would come out against black men and actually degrade them because they're not picking the person that you want them to vote for. You all brought up Barack Obama to try to get us black men back to the demonic Democratic Party. Behalf of all the men who are educated, who have learned their lesson and, and was burned by the Democratic Party. We want nothing to do with the Democratic Party. We stand with Donald J. Trump. I keep telling y'all. Black folks ain't going for this. And this is where the Democrats fail every single time thinking that all black folks think the same. We are not really rocking with no Kamala Hills up Harris. Play the clip. So, Peach Patch, they thought because President Biden wrote a note saying that he is not running for president no more. He like withdrawing his candidacy and he want to nominate Kamala Harris that all the black women was going to run and go vote for her. I'm not voting for you. She is not getting my vote. Me and all my cousins out the project in Florida, we all voting for Donald Trump. Trump got our vote. It ain't nothing. Nobody could say or do or nominate whoever you want. Trump 2024. With that being said, I'm asking the black folks that do support her, name three things that she's accomplished. Name me 10 different things she's done over a decade that has helped black folks in America. Nothing. Zero. Is Trump a racist? I don't think so. I've talked to a number of black entrepreneurs who back in the late 80s and 90s, were early 90s, were trying to get financing. They could. Somebody told them to go check with Donald Trump. So they come back and tell me they got a loan from Donald Trump. He gave them a term loan. Show up with the interest in the principal, one check. But they had to go see him personally. They independently relate this tale that when they saw him, he said, this is what you're supposed to pay me? This is our agreement? Said, yeah. And then tore the check up, shook their hands and congratulations. Now run your business. He didn't have any problem with dating a black woman, walking her down red carpets. Most people don't know this. He did was the finance man behind Jesse Jackson's two runs for president. Wow. What do you guys think about Kamala? It'll be cool. She's terrible. See. If she comes into office, it will be done. It'll be cool to see no. a female black you know, she's half black, not fully black, but uh, it'll be yeah, cool to see a black president, a Western Indian. female black president, but I'm, I'm definitely That's voting for Trump. Let me tell you something. She tries to get the black vote because if you look at her past mm -hmm. things and maybe 10, 15 years ago when she's in interviews, she identifies as West Indian. She does, she the does only not way that she's identified as African American is right now, doing yeah. right now because she wants the voters, That's but true. she doesn't give a fuck. Because where was she at in these past four years if she's vice president? What has she done for us? She have not Can done you shit. say one thing that I didn't done? even know she was the vice president. Can we That's say what she has done? Let's go, Trump. And I am going to stand on Trump. And I'm so sorry if that made ruffle people feathers. I'm but sorry, right? I have done my own research. And Trump has done a lot for us more than what the media tries to portray. They're getting all our favorite rappers. They're having Megan the Stallion twerk and all of that to gain because they think that that's going to make us vote for them. And that's not. And that never got my vote. And that will never get my vote. Twerking and I'm going to stand on that. Vote. Twerking did and not having get my vote. Meg the Stallion that's first off the that's song ignorant. that she was even saying is very ignorant. The audacity of these motherfuckers. Steve Harvey. Hugh Hughley, Ricky Smoke, Roland Martin, motherfucking list goes on. Talking about some y'all need to vote for Kamala, vote for Kamala, do your research. Y'all don't know what y'all talking about, y'all embarrassing us. Motherfuckers, you all are embarrassing us. How dare you all? You all ain't entitled to vote for whoever the fuck you think of your bright heads is the best choice. You are not entitled to belittle, punish, and make fun of black men that think the complete opposite. We are not voting for no fucking Kamala. Leave us alone. Just because y'all got fucking paid to advertise good talk from that goddamn administration don't mean all of us have to sell our soul. We picking up books. We reading. We research. What we not about to do is be bamboozled by motherfucking Steve. Are you shitting me? Boy, you can't even fulfill your goddamn marriages. Stealing people jokes. 
Why the fuck would we take your word for anything? Kings of comedy. D.L. Hughley, Steve Harvey. Oh, no, no. There's only one king of comedy on that fucking tape, and it's Bernie. And everybody knows it. You motherfuckers was the backup dancers. Why the fuck would we listen to a man that dresses up constantly as a fucking old woman? I can't even look at you in your eye and take you serious. And if you ask him a simple ass question, all he did was be little black man. Y'all need to go on with that. Keep that same energy. Keep that. What? Oh, that fucking Roland Martin. Ooh, that Roland Martin. Real quick, Roland. How much gum is under the table? Go wife in the fucking seventh dwarf. Willy Wonka in a chocolate factory. Oompa fucking Loompa. We definitely ain't taking your ass serious. They want us to believe that these type of black men is our fucking leader. Because y'all got successful out of luck. You all are supposed to be our leaders and collect checks and backstab us. The damn right I'm yelling. You want to know why? All the successful brothers, we can't even take them serious. You don't sit here and try to manipulate us. Real sad that the world, the country is in fucking turmoil as we speak the last four years. And you are going to get on fucking television and interviews and sit here and try to convince us that we need to stick with the fucking candidate that's in office now that's creating the fucking turmoil? Are you all like y'all rabbity rabbit ass looney tune ass mom? Or not gonna manipulate none of us strong black men into believing the shit that y'all don't even actually believe. I kid you not, none of these motherfuckers will vote. I bet you they won't vote. But I bet you they cash that motherfucking check. Originally in the Constitution, I'm three-fifths of a person. And I don't have a right to make... And in 2024, you standing your ass up there as a fucking millionaire. Please stop this fucking victim shit. This witch went back to the beginning of the Constitution to prove a damn point. We're not slaves. Why do I got to say that? You three fifths of a person in, in 1776? That ain't got shit to do with 2024. There's a black VP in office right fucking now. And dare I say again. Sometimes videos just speak for themselves. It's your boy King Shiro. Thank you for watching. Remember that you're loved and remember to be great every day because tomorrow is never promised. Peace out, y'all. Every day you wake up, you got a decision to make. To go right or left, up or down, right or wrong. At the end of the day, you make the decision. Nobody forces you. So make the right decision. Make moves. Set the goals. Stop making excuses, man. And if it look like a duck, walk like a duck, and sound like a duck, it's a duck. Stop guessing. Just do the right thing. You heard? You hear me? I love y'all. Stay positive. Love one another. All right. <laughs> a, lot, a loaf of bread? cost 50% more today than it did before the pandemic. Ground beef is up almost 50%. I'm Donald Trump, and I approve this message.